Got you. You, you. Random question for you. Uh, you mentioned earlier in the conversation that uh, there's roughly 2% of deaths that go undetermined. Uh, many times yeah. it, it, it's due to skeletal remains. There's not enough there to examine. Uh, just out of my own curiosity, uh, Bruce Lee, um, in, 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 I'm sure you know that name, yes. um, like many of us do. There has been such a, a, so much controversy around his death. Uh, and still to this day, I don't know that, you know, anybody has figured out what this man died of. I, I'm not sure that you have ever had a chance to look at his um, autopsy results. But in, his, in, a, in a case like his, uh, they, they were dealing with a fresh body. Um, it, it wasn't skeletal remains. No, no. I, uh, I, in fact, uh, Sean, um, <clears throat> when he died, I was early in my career, um, and I, would, I was consulted on that death by the insurance company. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, his death probably was somewhere about 1969. Uh, I think it's 74, something. 74, I believe. 74. Okay, yeah. I was uh, a deputy medical examiner in New York City in 74. And the, the, uh, the insurance company, had a big insurance policy, uh, was concerned about the cause of death. And as you say, there was a controversy as a cause of death. If I recall correctly, he may have had some marijuana in his system, but uh, that wouldn't cause death. Marijuana doesn't, doesn't cause death. And I think that you're right. That was one of the cases where determination of the cause of death uh, was not able to be made. And um, I forget all the details about it, but I went over it and I couldn't tell either uh, whether it was drugs, there was a concern about drugs of some kind, uh, and in, in fact, there were uh, toxicology wasn't as good as, then as it is now. And um, uh, there could be uh, even now there are uh, with all this new fentanyls coming in and all these new drugs that it's easy uh, for a toxicology lab to miss a new drug that's coming in. And we wouldn't then have a cause of death uh, if it's a drug overdose. But um, in the two percent of overall deaths are undetermined. Uh, there's a considerable number of uh, cause of death that are listed as undetermined in police uh, encounters. Uh, there may be uh, 5% of uh, police encounter deaths that go, the final cause of death is undetermined because asphyxia doesn't leave a cause of death. You see, uh, and uh, what often happens with the deaths during police encounters when asphyxia occurs, it's all the, uh, it, at the autopsy table, you can't make the diagnosis. You've got to get it from the witnesses at the scene. And often the, witness, the only witnesses at the scene are the police officers. So that's where things like uh, uh, the cell phones have become so important in the past 20 right. years, where whether it's uh, you know uh, Eric Garner, whether it's Floyd, uh, two things, Floyd, it's um, uh, the videos that have, uh, made it into important uh, case where the police may not have been telling the truth uh, in those deaths. In fact, with Floyd, with Floyd to show the kind of biases we have, uh, after uh, I was asked uh, with another doctor, uh, Wilson, to come down to do the second autopsy by the family because they didn't believe that. As soon as um, uh, the, the prosecutor and the medical exam, there was no, uh, uh, the, uh, the, um, encounter with the police had nothing to do with the cause of death that he had he had drugs on him fentanyl and he had a bad heart to indicate that uh they said well we saw it differently we came down we went over it uh and had an immediately disagreement we had uh, ben crump was the attorney had a press conference immediately saying this obviously the second autopsy shows that we had found some additional marks on the body that usually aren't present that this was clearly asphyxia due to, to the police act, act, action um, the National Association of Medical Examiners uh, came out with a statement right away saying that when you have two autopsies, the first autopsy is the one that is more credible than the second that are brought there by this family. 
So we had the National Association of Medical Examiners saying that uh, with Floyd, that they should that they should believe the first autopsy, saying that there was no police uh, uh, involvement in the uh, restraint of the death when um, uh, uh, the, the um, uh, second uh, people who did the second autopsy disagree. And that's a problem. It's also shown just of interest. I've been involved about eight years earlier with a similar case in Minneapolis, the same police department, black kid who was uh, sort of mentally a little bit uh, retarded, would go, would belong to a YMCA that would go and shoot basketball hoops. That was what he did. He was a very good kid, no marks on him. Uh, a 12 year old or 15 year old kid came in and uh, complained that uh, he wanted to go up and uh, shoot basketball and he, this guy was in the way, you know, the, they called the police, the police, Minneapolis police, same police department come and he's just shooting basketballs legally, possibly, uh, you know, and they subdue him and he dies. And we, oh, no. and I did a, a second, a, 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 and then the same doctor, doctor the, the photo autopsy did that autopsy, said he died of police of traumatic asphyxia in that one. I agreed with it. The police, that, that is for the for the plaintiffs, the, the police uh, uh, agreed as a settlement to read out periodically to all of the Minneapolis police and that, that uh, they should not uh, uh, press down on people's back that they that they can die during uh, handcuffing. And yet the same police did the same thing to uh, Floyd. They, even though he was already handcuffed, they didn't have to do anything to Floyd, but they were still pressing on his neck, pressing on his back, even though they had a previous case like that where, uh, all the police were put on notice that they uh, that uh, they shouldn't do anything that could interfere with breathing. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.